today to speak to you in favor of ICE. And I support ICE and our prisons, and I'm here just to ask that they be allowed to do their job. And I'm wearing this t-shirt uh, because I support ICE. And on my t-shirt, it has a picture of a Sacramento County deputy named Danny Oliver. Danny Oliver was shot and killed by an illegal alien who was fleeing law enforcement in Sacramento. He had a wife and two daughters, and now they're growing up. Those kids are growing up without their father. These are the families that are permanently separated from their loved ones. And this is why we are calling for law enforcement to protect our families. This is why we need ICE in our prisons. Keeping ICE in our prisons is a matter of public safety and protecting our families. So I ask that you uh, consider that we keep ICE in our prisons. It's very important. Thank you. My name is Greg Sousa. I'm here representing a Remembrance Project. The man on my shirt was a Border Patrol agent that died in the line of duty. He left two children uh, on a company with a parent. And he's uh, mourned by his fellow Border Patrol agents as well. And uh, these are the people that are victims of uh, poor policy allowing uh, criminals we just happen to be undocumented, but let's remember that criminals to be allowed to be on our streets. Uh, ICE's mission is to protect America from border crossing of criminals, and uh, it's part of our, and they threaten our national security and public safety. Um, SB 54 is a new law, it just uh, was told by over 120 cities. That's 750 elected officials that said SB 54 is to be not avoided. It should be avoided. It's not going to be happening in these 100, over 120 uh, cities, charter cities, along, along with the 750 elected officials that went along with it. I'd like you guys to follow suit and uh, kick SB 54 to the curb where it belongs. I want you to disband the ad hoc committee that you established to see whether we would be able to be compliant, uh, be compliant with this before. I think that's outrageous to safety, to the public safety, to even consider what you need to do to be in compliance. That law was also uh, said to be unconstitutional by uh, fellow Judge Chandler. Anybody know Judge Chandler? I know we got a few judges here. Do we respect what the judge says? Yes, I respect what he says. He says SB 54 is unconstitutional. I want you to obey our laws. Mr. Sheriff, Alex Delanero, I'd like you to obey our laws. The federal law trumps state law, and that's the law I want you to follow. Also, uh, you know, we hired uh, Sacramento and Riverside Sheriffs all agreed that I should have unfettered access to our jail system. We have uh, uh, Alex Galeo, whose Facebook page uh, has him listed as A, period, villain, B-I-L-L-I-A-N, as a villain. Now, why do we have a man using a Facebook page calling himself a villain who's a sheriff by city? How does that be okay with anybody? That's wrong. So I want him to change his Facebook page and to represent the city in a safety uh, in a safety manner, because the way he's doing it now isn't working for me. Thank you. Arthur Schaffer, followed by Eric Previn. I'd like to have uh, Mr. Sings. Do you have Ronald Sings there? Can I have that? It's right there. Shopper. I am a resident of the Fort Supervisory District in the City of Florence, Los Angeles County. Uh, first of all, I recall that this board had issued a censure against President Trump because he had said something when he wasn't even president yet. But I think that this board actually needs to send a motion of censure to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. 
She is currently holding our government hostage because she refuses to do her constitutional duty, which is to appropriate a proper budget, which includes the building of a border wall, a fence, I don't care what you call it. So if this board had no problem censuring the president when he wasn't even the president yet, I don't see why you're holding back. Because when Washington isn't doing its job, it's hurting our law enforcement, and that includes the sheriff of Los Angeles County. She needs to do her job. She needs to help build our wall to protect all of us. Second of all, I am deeply concerned about the tone of the new sheriff. I don't care that he won. It was by a very small margin, and it's been determined the LA County Registrar will now have to strike off 1.5 million voters from the voter rolls. And that's just the tip of the iceberg for the voter fraud that we're dealing with in this county. So already, the sheriff is hovering, is under a cloud of illegitimacy. He has talked about making it easier for illegals to live in our county. That is wrong. He needs to represent the needs of citizens, including the gentleman on my shirt right here, DeAndre Mitchell. He was murdered in a fire that was set in an abandoned warehouse near here, actually, in the Westlake MacArthur Park area. He rushed in to try to save four other lives. They were all burned to death by an illegal alien. I'll be speaking on that further. And I'd like to commemorate another member of law enforcement, Ronald Singh. He was murdered by an illegal alien in Newman, California, Northern California, a day after Christmas. A day after Christmas, a corporal, one of our law enforcement, one of America's, California's finest, murdered by an illegal alien. Criminal. As an oversight commission, it is your duty to make sure that our chief law enforcement officer and his deputies are protecting us. We should make it harder for them to protect their fellow law enforcement officers. That needs to be an integral part of your oversight, along with the fact that he's removed a lot of reforms that were put in place by the previous sheriff. You need to be investigating this. The safety of our citizens and our deputies is paramount.